Good evening, Minecrafters and YouTubers. Uh, Elfugger here. Let me sleep real quick. Get started. Uh, this is gonna be a video, kind of tutorial, proof of concept, more more like a proof of concept um, of a retriever slash slash possibly it could be also a sorting machine auto refill system without timers. Um, I'm on my FTB server at the moment. I should say test server. Um, eh, it's a server. Um, I'm using the uh, Direwolf pack, Feed the Beast um, mod pack, and uh, I created a autofill system, kind of, uh, kind of complicated, not super resource intensive, which is nice because it's, an, it's obviously you can see I'm pretty early in my in my, in my server here. Um, using uh, Buildcraft three and Red Power two, the new release, um, I. I kind of designed a system using uh, to refill, keep this full of boggers. Um, I have a gate right here, iron iron gate, which you'll see boom right there. Sends out a red pipe signal every time a piece of dirt goes through. Uh, if you follow me down here, that goes down along here, da 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 da, and it goes into this chest right here. This will send that red, uh, whatever time it gets a red pipe signal, it will send a redstone signal, which goes down here to a counter. Counter is set up, oh, you saw it right there, click. Uh, counter is set up to click, uh, count six times, which is a uh, recipe, um, excuse me, I'm, I'm linking there, a recipe for Bogarth. Create six. So I have it trying to keep track so that every time six pieces of dirt goes through, it will send a stack of six to the bogger so that it will hope uh, to the the bogger plant so it will hopefully keep the exact same amount it won't get too much it won't get too little won't run out kind of thing um, so every time it's uh, every time a pulse goes through one of the six it goes up to here and that pulses the retriever which could also be a sorting machine that I just you know remembered uh, which would be you know the same same thing and it wouldn't require two interpoles uh, it sends a pulse to the filter, which you saw right there, and it sends a pulse to the retriever. Oh, sorry, deployer. So uh, every single time it will pulse all three. And then at the sixth one, which you'll see right here, it will send a red sound signal up to this uh, Arctic gate. I think I think I pronounced that right. And that will pump out the six bogarth, and that will put it up here. Uh, also on that six pulse, it will also hit this filter, which will suck out six out of the chest and push it into the peat bog. So, um, like I said, this is this is this is kind of messy. Um, it's kind of compact. This will obviously all be covered. You won't see any of this once I'm actually done. Uh, I got a thermal pile in there for the power. Either way, you'd need power for um, a sorting machine. So. Uh, either either way, you're gonna need to have some space down here, unless you do a battery system, which I kind of just prefer to have this. Don't have to worry about it. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, I so yeah, obviously it, it obviously it works. Uh, you can obviously do some tweaking. I probably will do some more tweaking after this. I'll keep an eye on it, see how it works. Uh, but yeah, I'll def there's gonna, I've already done some tweaking already. There's gonna be more. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, a less laggy way of creating an autofill system. I will actually be building, um, I just wanted to get all this production ready, uh, started, so I have my tree farm up here, which will also be, uh, what the heck? Oh, that's what's going on. The trees are getting in the way of destroying the, uh, destroying the pipes. Hmm. I will have to fix that. <laughs> uh, anywho. <laughs> That's never happened before. Then again, I also haven't really had the system set this high before. I might have to lower that down. Anywho, um, yeah, I just wanted to get everything started, and these will obviously actually all be finished buildings. I mean, that's the <laughs> that's the floor of my house. Obviously, it's not finished yet. That's my sorting room over there, also not finished, and my boiler also not finished. So I like, like to get things set up where I like them, and then start using them. <laughs> And then I'll make everything look more uh, prettier uh, later. So I'll actually ha I'll have another peat bog over here, and then another tree farm on top of it. And then this sorting system, uh, this re auto crafting system, I'll then tweak 
to keep both of them full, which I think is possible. I'll just have to make some adjustments. So, I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and, yeah, good luck in the world of Minecraft. Wouldn't you know it, as soon as I turned the recorder off, I found a really big problem. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys real quick the fix, just in case you were going off my design directly. I had a piece of um, jacketed cable, uh, is that what it's called? Jacketed... Hold on a second, I have to make sure I give you the right name. Jacketed wire. Uh, right here, and what that was doing was every time it pulsed, six, every six times it pulsed, it also pulsed the auto crafting, which I did not want because then I have a chest that's filling up with more peat than is needed. So I moved it over to there, so that way, see, boom, it does not pulse that. That only gets pulsed every six times, and everything else still gets done correctly. Um, from what I can tell, uh, everything's working great. It keeps it keeps, uh, every time it free fills, it keeps um, 64 and 31. So that's, so a full stack, almost, you know, a, a, almost a stack and a half in there at all times. That's, that's the, maybe a little bit messed up now because I, un, I, un, <laughs> I unplugged it uh, for a little bit. But yeah, it, it's very consistent. I, I've been sitting here just watching it while I was at, um, setting stuff up for the video. So looks like everything's going good. Alright, well, signing off again for real this time, and uh, happy building.